Hi friends, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. As always, as usual, I am also good. So we are gonna see today regarding Vodafone Idea Limited uh, quarter two result. Okay. So it's not special that uh, this time and the time the result will differ. This time also Vodafone Idea Limited has reported a loss of almost 8,700 crore, and the, it has been a continuous phase for this company. And the revenue from operations since they given in million, I would be saying in crores. Be easy for us, okay. So the total income comes in the range of almost 10,671 crores, and total expenses we know. So the profit before tax comes in the range of almost 7,900 crore, and which thereby puts the company after the tax efforts. Okay, there is a tax effort which made the company to post a loss of almost 8,700 crore. We are going to see what is the note for. Let us see what's the note for me, okay. So this has been the Thing on 16th of October, Supreme uh, Supreme Court of India has announced a judgment relating the track tax statement of uh, annual revenue share. So that has been uh, one thing which the company has made best estimate basis a tax provision of almost uh, this um, 8,220 million and which has made the company to post a loss of almost 8,000 crores positive. I mean uh, plus okay. And now uh, I just want to discuss on a fundamental basis and other things apart from the apart from the numbers for Vodafone Idea Limited because if you note uh, one of the things that Vodafone Idea Limited has done today is that uh, the company has given the press announcement in which the company has said that the 4G subscriber base continued to grow for nine successive quarter at 124 million base and this is a very good thing and also. Uh, the company has also said one, one more thing which is very 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 positive i think so uh, we have seen lowest quarterly subscriber decline of 1.6 million since merger okay this is a very very strong point what the company has said on a growing perspective and second thing is that yes their subscriber base is almost 219 million right now but we've noticed here average revenue which means arpu okay ARPU has improved to almost 142 rupees, which means almost 2.1% uh, quarter on quarter, uh, primarily by the migration subscribe to higher RPUs. So, totally, if you put together, yes, this is a bad result. We know it has been over the past few years, it has been the phase. But uh, two things that are stand out this time is that the lowest loss since merger, I mean, which means the subscriber loss and improved ARPU margin. I think uh, most possibly the uh, share has expected this kind of fall and provided Vodafone idea seen a fall due to the market correction. But these two fundamental news sometimes can create a positive momentum in this company. Let us see how the market is going to go. Thank you friends and bye.